Baggy of well, world best Filipino food. Isn't parang just an idea. I think na parang it's it's something we we can get to. For the longest time, Filipino food wasn't sought out internationally, and locally, we were happy with restaurants serving the dishes we grew up eating in a very familiar format. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but for a cuisine to evolve, it needs to be respected and challenged. Toyo Eatery opened in 2016 and has been delighting the Manila dining scene since, earning international recognition and solidifying the Philippines as an up-and-coming dining destination. With an ever-changing contemporary menu that draws inspiration from our culture, heritage, ingredients, and that champions all the different facets of what Filipino food is, Toyo has inspired a new generation of chefs. Their food, often the result of a dissection of traditional dishes, plays with the essence of Filipino flavors, while making sure to pay homage to our local produce. One such dish is their tortang talong with banana ketchup. My name is Jordi Navarra. I am a chef and one of the owners of Toyo, Toyo Eatery. So here in Toyo, our philosophy is to serve uh, Filipino food in, in sort of our way. Um, so we want to make food, uh, cook food and provide an experience that reflects who we are, where we're from and what we eat. It's more of uh, trying to find the place for the Filipino flavor profiles in the world of food. For us, the pinaka goal is have everyone sort of relate and feel represented in the sa, sa flavors that we, that we present, the dishes and the food that we do. Have a bit of our food culture also ingrained in, in how we cook and how we serve food. So at Toyo, we specialize in parang, set or tasting menus. Uh, so in a way, it's sort of like a collection of dishes that we're working on. For us, it's like a nice thing that we try and spread out a lot of the dishes para it's a bit of like a snapshot of what we have and the ingredients that we want to work with. So we go to there like a few signature dishes through the years, but for us, we sort of keep it on the menu but we feel that it's relevant to, to the idea that we want to express. My name is JP Cruz, Toya Italy, and I'm one of the chefs. I've, I've been here because in the beginning, eh. basically, we've been together for the longest time. So I would say, what is Toya for me? Basically, it's uh, my home and I guess my life now. My role is mainly about supervising the whole kitchen and yeah, menu development, all these boring stuff. We named Toyo, Toyo yeah, because of soy sauce and uh, we like how it's soy sauce is it's like there's lots of layers to, to soy sauce, like it's a simple condiment, it's always present, sometimes overlooked. Uh, so like right now our menu has sort of a theme. We have like parang snacks or bites, parang like little highlight different different ingredients. Tapos we have a, always kinilaw sa menu. From the beginning of opening Toyo up till now, we always serve a silog. Um, Cause there's variations of that. The same way na may variations siya everywhere around the Philippines. Pero yung base niya is still garlic rice and an egg. Some of the dishes are parang um, dish ideas from everyone, uh, from specific people. Uh, tapos We'll try it out, a few people will taste. So when we feel that it's good, we, we sort of put it on that. Normally, we depend on ingredients that we have, no? So sometimes we work kasi with different farmers then. Usually they give us out you know, certain ingredients, can be fresh produce or uh, seafood. And then later on, parang we discuss what flavors do we want to execute. Or it can also not be about uh, dishes, parang ano yung uh, can be something cultural or something memorable or for example kunwari uh meron kami sa menu ngayon uh, which is very normal i guess for us uh, yung shomai rice so how how it hits us how it's very relevant things like that it's very ano kasi it's not uh like a formula that this is this is what we do is so it's cumulative effort definitely now, if you grew up in the Philippines, banana ketchup is probably your favorite condiment. 
Filipinos enjoyed American ketchup so much during World War II, but tomatoes were hard to find, so they used bananas instead. One of the most famous dishes to eat this with is tortang talong, a charred eggplant omelet. So when I started no 2020, so that was before the pandemic, yung banana ketchup was made with uh, saba sa kalakatan na variety. The stories that we highlighted more uh, about the dish was really about si Maria Arosa, which is a very important figure uh, sa history ng food uh, dito sa Pilipinas and sa culture natin. Pero nag-evolve din yung story na kinukwento namin kapag pinapresent na yung banana ketchup na dish. Uh, so ngayon, uh, we have this very interesting produce, si Saging na Bulkan, na galing ng Kapa Starlak nga. Uh, so ngayon, mas yun naman yung kinukwento namin kasi feeling namin, uh, hindi siya masyadong kilala na variety. And it's very interesting then to push for bi biodiversity, especially na merong, meron kang guest sa harap mo na pumunta dito talaga para kumain ng uh, Filipino food served with uh, different ingredients naman. There are about 20 banana varieties grown in the Philippines. For their banana ketchup, Toyo sources Bulkan bananas from Kapas, Tarlac. The name translates to volcano. Naturally grown in Tarlac, Batangas, and Rizal, these bananas have a sweet, tangy, bubblegum-like flavor reminiscent of a creamy saba. Nothing really volcanic about them, though. It's just how they're called. However, the farmers from the Good Food community mentioned that when Mount Pinatubo erupted in the 90s, the number of Bulkan bananas multiplied in the area. Coincidence? Maybe. But we know that volcanic ash can produce extremely fertile soil, and maybe the terroir in Tarlac, due to it, could produce a sweeter tasting banana. Uh, we age the bananas, yung Balkan bananas, until mag darken yung skins ng bananas. Uh, and that, with that, uh, we make vinegar out of it. So it's just a mixture of water and sugar, and then we wait four months at least up until maging suha na siya. Uh, since uh, very prominent yung acid sa, sa food namin, so yun, very important yun. And then next, yung banana meat, we cook it for uh, three to four hours up until it's, it's caramelized. And then we mix in the banana blossoms. So we saute that for a bit up, up until maging syrupy na yung amoy niya. And then we also add a bit of onions and tomatoes with garlic, which we cook in for a bit of a long time. So after that, we blend everything and then, yeah, you name know, banana ketchup. Time. Uh, the torta naman, we cook the eggplants up until it's charred and then we blend it and then after that we mix it with the eggs. So yun yung parang base ng actual torta. For the leftover naman na eggplant, we mix it with rice flour, we steam it and then we dehydrate it. That's the chip. So that's the yung bottom part ng, ng torta. And then we top it with fried leaves. I think it's super important to have good relationships with the farmers and the suppliers because they're seriously the pinaka expert when it comes to the products that they sell. Funny enough, si Good Food, kung saan kami kumukuha ng mga talong, ng mga saging na bulkan, ganun din yung advocacy nila ngayon. Kaya nila stinart din tong type ng uh, organization na to para maging self-sustaining naman yung farmers natin. Hindi lang kung sino yung kumakain ng gulay na pinoproduce nila, pero sila mismo na nagtatrabaho para meron tayong mga gulay na makain. Any hopes for the future? I just, parang, I, I just hope na we keep getting better. Lucky kami na meron na ring. Mas open na yung mga tao ngayon to eat actually in a Filipino restaurant served this way. Parang I don't think this was a thing, I think, five years ago. 
We try to hit almost everything around the circle, meaning yung mga pinaglalaban namin, for example, uh, pushing for local, uh, definitely Filipino, uh, admiring everything about our culture. I feel like we have something to share eh, to the world. Um, like our flavors, they're not just parang, we can't lock it up and keep it at home lang. I feel like a lot of people want to see what it is, what it's like. And parang the stories behind the, the, the flavors, the people behind the food. For me, the, the main wish is I hope we learn more about what we have, discover more for us, and also be able to share it with the rest of the world. Mm -hmm.